Next we're going to um, palpate our lateral structures of the knee. First we're going to start with our bony structures. Uh, first at the uh, joint line, uh, finding the joint line, we're going to uh, palpate the uh, lateral tibial plateau, which is located right here. Uh, and then we have our, uh, up on the distal end of the femur, we're going to have our lateral femoral condyle, uh, is located here. Uh, and as we flex the knee at about 90 degrees, it, it should be more palpable. Uh, and then a little bit posterior to that, uh, we're going to have our uh, lateral femoral condyle. And this is going to be uh, lateral to the uh, uh, condyle, femoral condyle. Uh, and then uh, down here below the knee joint, um, we're going to have the, the head of the fibula, uh, which runs down this way. And um, And that's also at the same level uh, sometimes as the tibial tuberosity. Uh, and then the last thing that we're going to have is going to be the Gerdes tubercle, which is the uh, little bump uh, just anterior to that uh, from the head of the uh, fibula. Next we're going to have some soft tissue. Uh, first we're going to start with our uh, uh, lateral collateral ligament, uh, which uh, crosses the joint line. Uh, so this uh, uh, joins with the lateral femoral, femoral uh, epicondyle uh, to the uh, fibular head uh, down here. And then the next one, this is also uh, just lateral and posterior to the joint line. Next we're going to palpate the lateral meniscus. So again, that's uh, inside the joint line on the plateau. Uh, so this attaches to the popliteus muscle, uh, making it more mobile and uh, uh, usually uh, less torn than the uh, medial meniscus. The next structure that we're going to have is our anterior, uh, superior uh, tibiofibular ligament, and this lies uh, um, just between the tibia and uh, fibular head. Okay, so here's the fibular head, and so this is located right here. And then we have our uh, popliteus muscle, and this is going to be posterior to the lateral collateral ligament um, back here and just above the joint line. So again, and then we have our uh, biceps uh, femoris muscle and our biceps tendon. So if, um, so if we uh, were to ask them to uh, flex the knee against resistance, it might help uh, palpate uh, those tendons on the medial s lateral side. Uh, and then we have our IT band, uh, which goes on the lateral side. Um, and this is a long, thick band of uh, fascia. Uh, and this is just an anterior to the um, uh, biceps uh, femoris muscle. So we're going to palpate the posterior structures of the knee. First, we're going to uh, start with the popliteal uh, fossa um, here in the back. Uh, the superior, uh, this is going to be the superior uh, lateral border um, over here on this side. Um, it is going to be uh, your uh, biceps femoris tendon. The superior medial border over on this side, on the inside. This is going to be your, uh, sorry, this is going to be your uh, semi-tendinosis uh, and your semi-membranosis muscles. Uh, and then the inferior borders uh, down here are going to be your uh, gastroc, uh, 
the, yeah, the heads of the gastrocnemius muscle. Uh, next we're going to have, uh, within in that, uh, we're going to have the uh, posterior uh, tibial nerve um, that you can assess as well as the popliteal uh, artery and vein which you can palpate with your uh, two fingers. Um, and then uh, lastly uh, we can palpate our uh, uh, hamstring muscles as, as a group uh, up on the distal uh, femur.